Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today we have update number 5 for the Panners Bingo. This is created by Kena. Go check her out. She's amazing. She's so much fun and you gotta love her hair for sure. This is of course a Fantastic Ladies collab but you can join in anyways. Kena will have all of these links to the bingo cards and prompt sheet in her description boxes, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah. She has called out five new numbers. I'm a little bit behind schedule of getting this video up. I'm filming it on the 4th and it should have been up on the 2nd. So we're behind, but that's fine. But she drew four five new numbers, of course. I can roll in two of them, and I'm going to roll in both of them. So the first number she rolled in was 073, where the prompt is drugstore. 070, which is favorite brand. 063, bulky packaging. N33, uh, cream. And B4, matte. So the two I can roll in is 063, bulky packaging. And B4, matte. I have the... Uh, bingo card number three. Uh, so, yeah. So far, I have hit my goal on four prompts, and I'm currently on good way to hit my goal on two more. So, let's go through from the beginning, and then what I'm gonna roll in for the to newest prompts. So from the beginning I have I27 which is the prompt is spooky and I picked purple. Purple is a spooky color and I then picked the shade Pansy Pop, a blush cheek pop blush from Clinique and my goal is to use it 30 times. I have so far used it 21 so i have nine more times to go i'm hopeful i can have this one done by the next update um so yeah that's that one then and 38 mini are done i had the maybelline powder then the next prompt from the introduction is g53 least favorite color if you know me, eyeshadow related, it's gold, but in general it's blue, so I went with blue. And I didn't want to do blue eyeshadow, and nothing else were blue. Almost nothing else were blue, but this primer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Mattifying Primer. My goal is to use it 30 times. I'm still on 4 uses, so I'm actually going to change this goal to 15 um, because otherwise I will not be rolling it out anytime soon at all so yeah which means I have 11 more uses to go it's the dead of winter still here in Norway so I might not get to use this one before March April maybe um, but yeah that's that one then for update number one, I had one prompt or one number rolled in, and that one was 061 Magical. I picked the Cleona Shadows, and that goal is also met. Same goes for update number two. I had two numbers rolled in, and both of them are met. I had I23 Fiery. I picked the Clinique Melon Pop. It was an orange blush. And 074 Favorite Show. I went with Orange is the New Black, and I went with the Fenty Peach Face um, Cream Blush. And both of those are already met. Then for update number three, I can roll in any numbers. So we're going straight to update number four, where I had three more prompts or numbers rolled in. And first up was... B4 
five, which is, the prompt is collab. So I went with the ABH Amarisi um, and the shade Barb. And as you probably can tell, I do have a dip right in the middle right there. I'm currently wearing it as an inner corner and brow bone highlight um, in conjunction with a white shimmery shadow today. Um, but yeah, I have been wearing this one four times um, from February 1st to February 4th um, uh, because it's pink and I'm doing the 10, pink, 10 days of pink challenge. As you can see on my eyes, I do have pink and on my cheeks. Uh, so this one is really fitting and I will probably hit pan on this one before next update. Then I rolled in the number B13 perfume and I rolled in the Escada Turquoise Summer perfume and I have used it once. My goal is to finish it. I'm still currently just at home so I'm not wearing any perfume. If I am, I'm wearing um, my samples but yeah this one will get some love when I do start working um, so yeah my goal is to finish it but so far I have only used it once and if I'm not mistaken this one is from 2016 or something like that so it's my oldest perfume and it just needs to go then the last number from update number four is G47, uh, overrated product, and um, for me that is the Fenty Beauty gloss bombs. They are nice, but I don't understand the hype of this. So they are good. Don't take me take my words wrong. They are really good. But I don't think they deserve the hype. So, yeah. My goal is to finish it. I'm about halfway done. I haven't been wearing lip glosses lately uh, because of I have had COVID and we're still wearing masks and stuff. So, the one thing I have been wearing the two weeks I was at home with COVID was, was, was my Kiehl's lip balm. Um, so this has some good usage, but that's for another project. Um, but yeah, so I need to step up my game with this one. Um, so yeah. Oh, this one is in the sh shade Sweet Mouth. And these are humongous. These are 9ml bottles or 0.3 fluid ounces so they're big the two new numbers i'm rolling in i already told you but first up we have 063 bulky packaging and for that i went to my hourglass um ambient lightning lighting bronzer in diffused bronze light the packaging is bulky and um this is what it looks like. I really do love this one. I just need to use it. So my goal for this one is to use it 15 times. And um, I might be able to hit my goal on this one before the next update, depending on what I do and I'm currently loving the bronzer I'm currently using, which is the Dior bronzer. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but I really love it. It's just a really natural bronzer and yeah, this one will get some use, of course, but it's either going to be rolled out next time or the next time after. And then finally, the last one is b4 which the prompt is matte and i didn't want to roll in another eyeshadow i'm working on too many eyeshadows so i rolled in a new or a blush and i picked the pat mcgrath labs 
uh, Skin Fetish Divine Blush in Divine Rose. Um, I gave myself a 15 usage goal on this one as well. Um, so, yeah, this one shouldn't be too hard. Um, I will try to pop up my bingo card right here. But if I'm not mistaken, um, I... I do have a row I'm currently working on where I have all five numbers and then I do have another row with four of the numbers and a third row third row with at least two of the numbers so yeah I am a good way to have a bingo um, so we will see how this goes. Hopefully I can manage to hit that bingo. Let's see which numbers. Oh, I don't think I can hit bingo next time. If I hit bingo, I need to hit bingo. I need to work on this one to finish this one off. I need to hit my goal on this one and on the Clinique blush. I know I will be able to hit my goal on the Clinique blush. Uh, I'm pretty sure I will be rolling out my eyeshadow here. But this one... Oh yeah, I need this one as well, actually. So I have four out of the five. Um... So I, yeah, I need to get going. I will, of course, use the others because I might have bingo other places, depending on the numbers coming up next month and the month after. But yeah, I'm hopeful to have two items rolled out, at least two items rolled out by next update because seven items in this project for me, it's a little bit too much, even though most of them have usage goals. Um, so, yeah, I... For me, this is more of a laid-back, chill project, where I do mostly usage goals. I have some to finish, uh, of course, but... Yeah. I will be really happy if I can be rolling out these two. Uh, I'm currently working on a hot pink blush. I have six more days for that one. Um, and if I do start my new job in February, I might be able to finish up this one. So at least two, maybe three, and maybe four. So yeah that my longer term ones these two i think will take two months and this one will be maybe done in march or april so two or three months but yeah that's the timeline i can see myself reaching for the products and um yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you again in my next video. Bye!